Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review, and today's of which is on both the uh, Flying Lesson and Troll on the Loose from 2002. So, for Flying Lesson, a little leaflet, of course. On for Troll on the Loose, same border as from the year prior, so year after, but still Sorcerer's Stone, of course. On the back, add for the PCCD Ron game, and then a few alternate builds for the set, of course, and the last building step. Okay, so. For our three mini figs included. Oh, which being. So there's two different Harry's here. Well, one of which for Draw on the Loose and one for Flying Lesson. But besides that, the. There's one thing, the torso print, or torso print, kind of different for it. Since you know, wasn't till, uh, or because you know, different points of the film, of course, and the last of which is Draco Malfoy, same as from uh, Hogwarts Castle in from the last from the year prior, of course. But of course, this is which much cheaper way to get him, obviously, and all of which do include the starry capes or starry capes, like they did before, but whereas Draco Malfoy was holding the memorable, which is just a regular minifigure head with this little pattern on it. Like a couple little swirls on it and everything. Which kind of cool for that. Although I think of course, missing a few little, or I think also they should have put some red or orange on it since in the movie it kind of turns red orange. Well, besides that, also Starry Cape, but no back torso print or a uh, Alternate face print since they're old, since they're older figures, of course. And now on to the troll, of which for troll on the loose. And now this is a kind of interesting thing, well, since it's one that's almost double the height of normal things. Oh, and also Harry, which holding the regular bar piece, uh, which for the wand, obviously. Turn, but yeah. Also, kind of double the height of the normal one, but also what's kind of interesting, where it has actual cloth clothing pieces used for this upper vest and for the loincloth underneath, and quite lumpy underneath, and it fits on a few studs, of course. Yes, and unlike most big things, you can attach a head on top and the neck, of which is kind of different than most minifigure necks, of course. Whereas one arm just fixed in, but the other one kind of moves up and down. Would have been better if both arms moved around. And of course, has this little clip here that that you can hold above. And since, of course, in the movie, the you know, Ron of which used in some levitation spell to hold above it and drop it right on him, and of course. The main build for Flying Lesson is just this little cart with a couple of brooms on it. So he has those small brown wheel pieces in brown, like we've seen on the first Hogwarts Express set. And also with this interesting piece, which is like a large uh, inverted jagged slope with technic pins to the sides. Kind of neat for that. 
Canadian cars. A couple of those uh, grill pieces and tan. And, and also do get the brooms. Which, if you noticed on Lego brooms before, that they get put on figs a lot and get scratched. Uh, well, like most minifig things do in the corners. The premise of this whole set of which is to, of course, bring in the two figs, of course, and reenact the scene for when they, of course, get the brooms out by saying, or by saying, up. Ah, and then fly around on them. And of course, get set for Quidditch and all, of course. But yeah. And so for the main build for drawing the loops is uh, this one, okay, which is supposed to represent a bathroom. Yeah. So, like, as you see, it does have a old school zinc piece which might be from Belleville or any of those and also regular bolt piece together making up normal sink and it also does have a regular door with a, a little little regular key to it and like some of the other sets have these jagged slopes above but you know in sand green and also and of course, also enough space to put both your troll and hairy minifigs on to a course. There's and above of which is this little thing that holds a pair of bricks on it, or one by one bricks onto it. But which, since of course representing all the destruction and whatnot, but really Lego? Why not make it like use studs or tan studs as well, also representing that. But also kind of what's kind of a bummer with this is you don't get Ron and Hermione in this one, since of course in this scene Ron gets up on the troll and the course uses this bell to raise the club and all. But besides that, and above of which is this little archway that holds these a uh, pair of flames is on top and also the classic jack o' lantern seen in some old, other old sets. And if you look from the back kinda of vacant but although this is of course meant to be another section of Hogwarts that you just plop into it. Which I'll do in an upcoming video obviously. In the video. So for the final verdict these two. So overall, these I think are quite good sets for the time, like the only time we've ever had the troll of which and also only time of ever having the memorable, obviously. And if they ever redo the troll for that, I expect it to be almost as good as the troll that we have here. And also this can kind of work out in the modern range if, if Lego ever redone it, redoes it, of course. All the, and of course the cart for flying lesson can also kind of work out in a new Quidditch match set if possible and yeah. But also do get plenty of good uh, pieces for your mocking to them, and yeah. And so now, if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, then I'd say truly go ahead and get them. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it for this video, and thanks for watching.